All right, we're going to open our meeting of the Millville Planning Board. It is Monday, October 2nd. We'll start with roll. We'll Justin. Here. <laughs> Pam. Pam Williams here. Jason. Jason Miller here. I am here. Preston is not here this evening, but we are joined by Din uh, Dylan Lindholm, our junior town planner. Um, we have on the list this evening is a public hearing for our warrant articles, so we can should we open that now? We sure can. All right. Um, and then close. Motion to <laughs> right. open our public hearing. That's so moved. I'll second it. All in favor? Uh, Jason, aye. Justin, aye. Pam, aye. I say aye. All right. So, how do, how do we want to do this? Are we pulling them up or anything on a, just going through them? Yeah. Okay. All right, we'll start with uh, warrant article number one. Correcting major residential development definition in zoning bylaws. All right, so this particular one is to change um, change the wording in one of the spots. Is that correct? Yes. Yep, there's um, a definition called major residential development, um, which doesn't really clarify what that is. So if we define it better and say open space residential development as defined in Article 7, um, that will clarify what we're talking about when we talk about a major residential development um, instead of it just being <laughs> Right now it's very broad, right. yeah, mm -hmm. and, and we have no um, definitions yeah. to help guide us yeah. in terms of what that's supposed to mean. Um, we're also... Um, and we're keeping it to say special permit, which is, is what it says. Oh, no, it says it's by right now or something, right? Yes, which yes. doesn't make sense because you do need a special you permit a for special the permit. open space uh, developments. So it would make sense that you need a special permit for this. All right. Warrant article number two. Expanding business uses in commercial districts and protecting residential districts from business uses. Um, this was us taking a look at the chart of use that is currently in our bylaws and trying to um, open up where it made sense some of the opportunities that could be there by uh, that were previously restricted by special permits in most cases or not allowed. Yep. So specifically, we are looking to change retail store, craft consumer, professional, or cons commercial service establishment dealing directly with the general public, restaurants or other establishments serving food and beverage, professional office or agency, bank or other financial institution, and insurance or real estate office. And we're, we're changing that from being either not allowed or permitted to by right in mm -hmm. our um, village center and commercial business districts only. Question on that one. Yes. Should the restaurant or other establishment have it consumed on the premises versus in the building? Yep, yeah, so. Because um, didn't we change that someplace yeah, else? We, yep. That is the, the third Warren article. Maybe yep. we should switch the Warren articles. I mean, because here we're, we're adding it um, with the yeah. other definition. Yes. Right now I, I use Well, in here, that's how it's written currently. Yeah, and then so in the third one, we're changing it just to read the way it's supposed to. Okay. I use oh. this language here because that's exactly that's what's on what it right it's now. Written. Yeah. Um, okay. So that's why I put it there mm -hmm. first. Okay. Um, oh, like I see. Possible after we tech change. change. The, yeah, yep. After we make those changes, then we're keeping it's still a restaurant where they can have a, text a change a, after a balcony to eat on yeah, or whatever yeah. yep exactly oh, that's why i put yes, in that order yes, if yeah, that yeah, makes yeah. sense yeah i yep, think this does. order makes sense, yeah. makes sense? because okay. then otherwise we're going to have weird wording you're saying and, yeah. yeah we mean this one but it's what we want to change right. that so yep all right uh, the other things that this article addresses is that um Undertaking establishment or funeral home would be allowed by special permit in the commercial, the, the commercial business district, and that hotel and motel would no longer be allowed in village residential district. 
Um, and that the following be added as the last item in section C, any business and or retail use permitted above by right in excess of 10,000 square feet of building area. So, and this is again in our um, village center and commercial business districts. And this was to say that although we're allowing all of this stuff by right, if you're gonna come in here with some kind of like mega superstore, you're gonna have to come see the planning board first. Which technically right now they don't need to. Yeah. Um, and the final piece of that warrant article is ad um, addressing section E, industrial. Any industrial use permitted above by right in excess of 10,000 square feet building area and allowed by special permit in the village center and commercial business districts would then need to come for a site plan review. Same thing here. Um, we don't want any massive buildings um, being planned without having some sort of oversight. I see a typo there. I'll fix that. Okay. All right. And then the last one, um, warrant article number three, clarifying residential uses in the zoning bylaw. Um, this is where we're getting into some of those grammatical errors and those nuances. So there are four items that are going to be addressed by this. Number one is that right. agriculture be changed to agricultural to be more grammatically correct. Um, that in item B10, renting of one or two rooms and the furnishing of board by a resident family not to more than three non-transient persons be changed to renting of one or two rooms and the furnishing of a board by a resident family not to more than three persons taking lodging for more than 30 consecutive days at a time. Um, and this was our at least now answer to things like uh, Airbnb. Airbnb. Airbnb, yeah. It's a Band-Aid, but it's a band -aid. Yep. useful. Um, that in C3, as you brought up a minute ago, the restaurants or other establishments serving food and beverage to be consumed within the building to be changed to on the premises. And in D4, uh, sale of motor vehicles incidental to the above be changed to sale of new or used motor vehicles. I think they're pretty self-explanatory here. I like that it was one more opportunity for us to kind of go through the language that's um, in the Warren article. We don't have anybody here this evening to ask uh -huh. us any questions. Um, and I know we've been talking about this for a long time, four or five months yep. at this point. Right. So we've had a lot of opportunities to kind of hear from anybody who uh, wanted to, to kind of weigh in on these particular changes. I, for one, I'm, I'm very excited that we've moved this forward yet again this will be you know an, um, another opportunity for us to make some of the necessary changes and clarifying some of the language that's in our bylaws to make it more understandable to make us more business friendly um, and to certainly protect us in in some cases where the language is so broad that we are currently not any other thoughts or comments on I think you covered it well three bylaws all right um, we can close this currently then we're, we're not talking about it. We don't need to vote on it or anything, right? Uh, you can close the, the hearing and then vote um, to recommend it. Recommend um, yeah. recommend it to the select select board. board of selectmen. Select board. Yeah. So I'll make a motion to close the public hearing regarding the three warrant articles. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Is there a motion to make a recommendation of our three warrant articles to the Board of Selectmen? I will make a motion to recommend the three articles as written to the Board of Selectmen. Second. I'll, I'll second it. I think with that one grammatical change that you were making. Um, oh. yeah. right. All in favor? Jason, aye. Justin, aye. Pam, aye. Say aye. I'm sorry, I missed the, the motion. I'm just writing a letter to the selectmen. Jason. Jason. And then Justin. And Justin, thank you. Yep. And then at the select uh, board meeting this evening, they have asked um, for planning board representation to talk through these warrant articles. I believe Dylan and Jason were going to attend. All right, perfect.
All right. The next item, um, oh, I didn't, I missed the minutes. Let's we can go back, yeah. hop around here for a minute. Yeah, we don't have minutes from last time. I haven't finished them yet. Okay. Um, did you do the minutes from the 11th? Yes. I think we did. You did? Okay. Great. So I will um, have minutes for you next time. We'll have two next okay. time. Okay. Perfect. All right. Um, Next on the list is to just start diving back in, I think, to some of the zoning bylaw um, review that we've been doing. So um, I know at our last meeting, we briefly talked about some of this. We just wanted to take a moment to make sure we're all on the same page about the things that we wanted to kind of go after. Um, and I, I think what really kind of came out of that was we, we do still have some definitions that need to be tackled um, and some of those were in tandem with some other boards or we wanted some advice from some other boards and so our board thought that it would be good to plan for a meeting with the zoning once it gets established um, with the building inspector maybe conservation got brought up um, you know we can we can kind of put something out there to all the boards mm -hmm. and, and come up with a plan for tackling some yeah. of those um, and then continuing the work on the use chart that we had started this time around. Um, what we did not get to was some of the additions and restructuring of that use chart that we wanted to do, but it was, we needed to kind of do this in pieces and we wanted to make some changes more immediately. So that is something that we definitely want to uh, move forward with as well. Excellent. Yeah, I can talk to those boards, uh, the building commissioner, see what they want to do, set up a joint meeting yeah, of some sort. That or, yeah, works. Yeah. I think we can be pretty flexible. Yeah. Um, all right. Great. Um, what you included in our packets this evening is just some of the, the snippets from the CMRPC. This is review. a section from CMRPC. Um, I, I don't have these. So these are printed out um, for last time, but yep. um, obviously the printers are black and white, so they don't have all my extra notes on them. Um, <laughs> I highlighted a few spots, which are not highlighted now, like always. Um, I just thought these pages were sort of uh, a good section of noting things that we've done and noting things that we have yet Still to, do. to do. Yeah. Um, so this first section here, policy framework, um, village center overlay district. That's something that I think we'd have to really work with CMRPC on. Yep. Um, design guidelines. We were talking about um, economic development with CMRPC, and we also sort of design guidelines could be something we develop, but Millville's so small that every project comes to you, you have a lot of time to look it over. You might not need design guidelines, but they are nice to have. It's it's just not a it's not a requirement. Towns like them. Um, something we can look at in the future, but I don't think that's sort of like a one of these like high priority, low hanging fruit things. Um, Agreed. Although it could be nice to jot down a few notes on. Yeah, on exactly. That Even if it's not a whole like, document. Like in Menden, they have you know if they put up a steel building, they like to have some stone cladding at yeah. the base. It kind yeah. of makes yeah. it look a little bit yeah. more not so you know garage like. So mm -hmm. stuff like that. And yeah, and I think it got brought up before. Maybe like. The types of signs that we allow yeah. for might be something we'd want to take a look at. Yeah. Consistent with the character of the, of the town. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So we can talk to CMRPC about building a document like this, um, and I can always help with that too. I think um, it's something we would want to put on the list, but maybe isn't something that's a high priority. Right. Yep. Um, just an item. Um, and then that third bullet point here is sort of everything we do is is trying to promote preferred uses. Um, we've talked about the visual preference survey. Um, some of the things we do are going to be helpful towards that. Uh, other things I think would be part of design guidelines. So, yep. So we're moving that forward with CMRPC moving forward slowly, and yeah. Yeah. hope to have that be a, a project that we're working on later. Yeah, definitely something more in the background for now, but will come up as we move forward. Um, this part two here, use districts, um, Millville should assess how the current zoning districts actually carry out the vision for the community and the specific areas that they adhere to. 
Um, I think one thing we've done so far is is in the Warren articles we're bringing um, this this season, um, the hotels being in a residential district. So we're trying to remove that. Um, just as like deciding what fits in each of these districts and making the districts mean something. Mm -hmm. I think yep. that's what they're looking for. Which was good because before we had all these districts and everything was just the same everywhere. Yeah. So it didn't matter. <laughs> um, they do mention having a heavy commercial district versus um, like industrial, separating those out. Um, I don't, I don't know how important that is at this time, but it What's could be. What's the difference between commercial and industrial? Industrial would be um, a factory. Factory. Uh, machinery, um, contractor yards, and commercial would be shops and restaurants. Stores. 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 Yeah. yeah. Which comes under retail, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So we could separate those districts out more. Um, right now they're sort of in one. Uh, we have the, the village center district and the that's actually the most commercial that we have, Village Center. But do we want to have an area of town that's that's maybe away from residences or away from uh, traffic where someone could have a contractor's yard or, or factory or you know, something like that? It's it's a it's a thought that I don't mm -hmm. know. Um, it depends on how Millville works as a town. How how people drive through town or walk through town or, or use certain roads. Because once you designate certain roads for that, or you might push out other things. Um, yeah. Okay. Something to think about, but I'm, I'm not sure how, how much I would recommend it right now, at least. Yeah. It might be helpful to, to designate an area, but by designating an area, you put things in certain places. Um, and people who live in that area might not be so happy about the Thanks. fact that you're welcoming heavy machinery into one area of town. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to think where would a district fit? I don't know. I mean, 122 is really. That's what I was trying to. Yeah, and there's already yeah. sort of like. Mm -hmm. Andy's. And uh, 122 is what we want to beautify too, West Town Center, yeah. at least. I think the north north yeah. of uh, Central Street, as far as that way towards Uxbridge. Yeah. I mean, that's really the only, but there's some residential there. Right. Mm. So um, a lot of times commercial districts or industrial districts that have a lot of residences in them, it's a, it's a long-term plan mm -hmm. where you want to slowly push out the housing mm -hmm. and you want to start moving that, that neighborhood into a, a different sort of, um, you know, make it look very different from what it looks like now. And so you'll see districts that say they are heavy industrial, but there will be a bunch of houses that were built in the 40s there. Mm. And it's because the plan is next time that house sells, it's going to sell to someone who wants to do a commercial business there. And they take down the house and they put in the big yeah, building. So, so people won't like people that don't too like much. That. Yeah. No. Yeah. It's, it's and a, I don't blame it's a long term plan for, you know, towns that have a big dream about keeping things separate and it is very nice when that succeeds you know 50 years from now you have a part of town that's dedicated to that instead of pockets but in a town this size it doesn't this make size, sense I don't, yeah I, I don't know we're talking about has the benefit of 146a yeah. that whole area I mean, there are towns that have that yeah, we built in we're not so not so much not so lucky not every town has to do that we don't have to do that here yep no we can be a town that doesn't have that that sort of business welcome as much as you know other businesses that we are trying to actively mm -hmm. bring in so that's my opinion on it um would that be an, a reason to separate it out then is to say no to those things we don't places? need to have a different district yeah. we, we would have uses and they'd be listed and we'd say no okay um but this would be if we wanted to make a district gotcha. which would be a little different yeah um Let's see what else here. Mixed use is mentioned here. That's something we do want to talk about yeah, in the future. Um, and I think mixed use makes for a very vibrant uh, center, town center. 
And so that's one of the items that we're looking to add into our use chart when we make Right now we have something that says mixed use with nothing else no about use. it. Yeah. 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 So I, I think it would be nice to clarify and, and, and narrow that down. You don't want any mixed use. You want No, we very want very specific, specific yeah. mixed use. I, w I wouldn't mind us prioritizing the, the pieces around that, mm -hmm. you know, defining what that means to us and, and where we would like to see that, um, especially because it has come up. It's come mm -hmm. up in the CMRPC reports, and but we don't really have a way to pull it off. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think that would be very helpful. I think a lot of our efforts lately, at least, have been trying to make the town center into something. So I think mixed use is a, is a big part of that. It would be very helpful. Yeah. Um, let's see what else. Uh, then we have density and design. Um, this is about the uh, amount of space you need for a lot, minimum lot size, um, setbacks, things like that. This is something I don't think we've talked about yet, really. Not really. Um, the design guideline survey, I think, would probably have some information of what the town's looking for. Um, something we could definitely look at in the future, if, you're, if you guys want to look at this. Um, I haven't looked at the, the answers to this, so what the, what the people in town are looking for. I would say I mostly see a lot of people who live in a town, who've lived in a town for a long time, want to see larger lots and single family houses. And um, that's not always the the best system of, not for of a growing town a town. Center. Yeah, or or, you know, or even anywhere in town. Maybe outer, the bedroom bigger community. Sure. Yeah, yeah. So we just want to make sure that the the square footage of each of these districts makes sense, and it's it's enough that um, a the state is happy, b the residents are happy. Or you can switch those two. Make the residents yeah. happy first and the state happy second, but. We don't have any, I think we, I don't know how many units we have, but we are, we do not make our percentage of affordable housing at all. Yeah. And no, that means- There's the one that's on Hope Street, Street the one forty yeah. b It means anyone could come in and, yep. and apply for 40B and get it, no matter what. The town is no say. What about Millville <laughs> Heights? What is that considered? Because that's- Not, not affordable. It's, it's right on um, West Street. I don't know if we're past like 2% of the 10% we need. Yeah. State's ten percent. Yeah, yeah. So, as much as people love large lots and single-family housing, you might need to have somewhere that's designated that you know you can allow for a two-family house, an affordable unit in a in a three-family house even, yeah, two-family even make one affordable and and Millville it can Heights, help us. Which is um, Millville and Uxbridge housing. Yeah, but they're um, they're like little townhouses some of them are up and down and there's quite a few in there yeah and it would be something that would add a the housing yeah the 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 um 40b housing and it looks i mean it kind of looks nice to me yeah in, that's good uh yeah. center not in the outskirts yeah yeah yeah, affordable housing doesn't have to be a complex. It doesn't have to be a big apartment tower. It can be one house. It can be a two-family house. It can be, you know, a, a small village of, of houses that are on their yeah, own. That, but that, it can be that's one, That's what you these know? are. Yeah. Uh, I think there's, there's this fear that if we try to look for, you know, building anything affordable, that it's going to be a big apartment complex. You can just put one house in and call it affordable and, and put a deed restriction in, and that counts towards our percentage. Mm -hmm. So I just want to make sure that there are lot sizes that allow for a, someone to make their house affordable, mm -hmm. put a deed restriction on it, or um, rent out a second unit in their house and make that affordable. Those little things are, are really, I think, good things to do. Right. Uh, yeah. yeah. Instead of throwing people all in a apartment tower because they can't afford to not live in a, a big apartment. Yeah. All right. So we could, we can take a look at that. Yeah. And that might be something too that we want to take a look at with the other, the other groups Definitely. when we get yep. them together. Yep. 
And then this last section here is the the, the phasing that they had here. Um, high priority, low hanging fruit. Um, talking about grammatical spelling errors, which you've done. Uh, contradictory provisions, elements that are legal or use gap issues, such as a signed bylaw, marijuana, certain definitions. So that's where we are still. Yeah, we haven't finished that yet. We're not done with that. <laughs> but we've also done a little bit of, um, let's see. Let's see. It was one of them I thought we did sort of like head into one of the other phases, which is totally fine. Um, but there's always something that might check off a few boxes here. Yeah. So, um, to be honest, I think phase two seems the most difficult to me. Um, I I would ask for CMRPC's help on that. Because um, yeah. redesigning the way the bylaws are... are it has to be something familiar with You have to do it the right way. Cold 360. Exactly. There's <laughs> a whole software that we pay to do that, and, and I would I would want someone who's qualified yeah. in that to, to do that. And then they can help yeah. explain it to everybody exactly. why, why that's why, happening. Why it's, yeah. I, I get why we need to do it, but like moving things around I think might get folks nervous. So exactly. I think if they can uh, provide some clarity yeah. with how that would be, that would be fantastic. Yeah. Um, what about some of the, the pieces um, that were are missing? Missing... Um, like um, phase three, like some of these oh, things, yeah. like talking about um, alternative energy and, and things mm -hmm. like that. Like we don't have those things. Yeah. So I think these are things that we can also be working on at the same time. Yeah. I would just switch these and say phase one and phase three are the ones that we should be looking at. Yes. And move phase two down. Um, I think that makes more sense to say yeah. phase two. So when we feel like we've kind of tackled some of these up, other yeah. things. Yeah. yeah. Then we can put it in a good place. Um, I agree. I think we can probably work on on some of these missing things too. Um, maybe I can sort. Of, I'll go through and look at what what sort of things are missing, and we can sort of look at what about could adult be. Use. Yeah, adult, yeah. Use, as well. adult use is a big yeah, one. That's a big one. Yeah, um, that I'd want to bring in either CMRPC or um, the town council that we have as well yep. to make sure they they're part of it. Um, Check and I know there, there are and see what they have. Yeah. yeah, there are special lawyers too. I don't know if our town council, um, maybe there's someone at their firm or something who focuses just on certain things like that, or like just marijuana law or just adult use law. So we might want to look into that a little more detail. Okay, we can definitely do that. Okay, adult use, mixed use. Yeah, um, this gives me something to start working on and plan for after town meeting what our next priorities might be and I'll get a few things together and you guys can tell me what you like and what you don't like. Yeah, yeah. I think one of the other things just I'm thinking through the last few years of items that have come up and um, solar was another mm -hmm. one that I think we needed to take a look at because if I remember correctly at one point there was there was a somebody asking some questions about what was allowed and what wasn't mm -hmm. allowed and we realized that we didn't really have good bylaws yeah. um, on that we section. We have something on renewable energy. Right now we have an overlay district, I think. Yep. But I'll tell you, there's there's new technology out that's not included it's in not most It's not mentioned bylaws. in it, yeah. Yeah, there's um, solar battery storage that we should include that very soon because the state basically, the it, yeah, yeah the, state, the state is telling towns like you're not allowed to deny these people. Yeah. Uh, so we kind of need to make sure to it's written space. in and we have a place for them. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Agreed. Okay. Yeah. I'm, yeah. Just wanted to think of that. And then I know the back still in the high priority, low hanging fruit section. One of the things that I would love to take a look at, and it's, it's so small and it, it doesn't, um, doesn't probably get into the nitty gritty, but it's that word permitted that's everywhere mm -hmm. and how, it's really 
troublesome to understand if it means that it's allowed or louder. louder. Or louder. <laughs> yeah, and even if I we could just identify, even how you pronounce it. <laughs> yeah, you know? where does it, that live? Like, where are those areas, and which ones are, could be issues that cause us yeah, permissible so versus permitted? Yeah, permitted. yeah. Exactly. yeah. Permitted exactly. or permitted. I would love just to tackle that yeah. and, I, and make great. a list of all of that. Definitely. Um, I remember that being a big one in the sign. Okay. Um, yeah. Bylaw. Sign bylaw is another big thing. Yeah, and, and it, I know that one in general needs to be tackled, but. Even if we just go through and we say the following uses of permitted need to be changed to permissible, or yeah, yeah. with permits, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, at least that permit. gives us yeah. that that piece towards enforcement yeah. that, that exactly. I don't believe we we, don't can, have. we have right now. Yep. So yep, that's great. All right. Any other items on on our priority list that we want to discuss tonight? Um, that's everything. Um, Stand by on 181 Main Street still. Um, okay. Working on it, but it's going to be a little slow going in the beginning. Um, I think what we'd want to do is make, I think Jack called it a master plan. Not not a town master plan, but a master plan about what we want to do with this one parcel. Okay. Um, so I'm going to work with Peter on that and get started, and then I'll bring it to you guys again. Once awesome. I, once and I have that's a little that kind of... At what point does the planning department, because we would have to put in for the money at first for the just the survey to know where yeah. that entrance yep. is yeah so this would be kind of like writing a business plan okay and then that you know what what's written is used to then go for some money okay um, so if we have a big idea and we write it all <coughs> down and say here's our big idea here's why we think it's going to work here's how much we think it's going to cost we can use that to then get to go try to find and, the funding and, yeah and the funding on the Brownsfields two phase two. I don't think we need it. No. Um, the, not yet, at least. Um, they didn't seem to find anything. They didn't find any pollution. I read it over, but they did say that they needed to physically check what they found there's no way for them to check yet though because the whole thing is it's just plants so, yeah it's all plants it's overgrown. So, so if they do need to go further then we can definitely do that but it'll definitely be after the whole thing is raised to the ground you know we okay. have a flat piece of land that we can look at you know mm -hmm. there's nothing they can do until we know more about what's there yeah all right yeah well that's exciting yeah. We have a lot on our plate in the next yeah, few yeah. months. Um, I also wanted to mention next meeting, we have an A&R coming. Okay. So that'll be good. Um, when is that? That is October 23rd. Let me make sure I'm right on that. Yeah. So three weeks? Yeah, in three weeks. Yeah. We have a holiday next week. And then our next normal meeting would, would have been the 9th, so, so the 23rd is our next one. Do you know the address on the A and R? Um, I do. I'm waiting for them to send me an electronic copy, so I'll send it as soon as I can. Yeah. But 226 Main Street, they're looking to split one parcel into two. Nice. Um, we also have an incoming subdivision application for Killarney Woods. We spoke with um, the owner and their lawyer months and months ago. Two? Isn't it for two it's, lots? Yeah. Um, Killarney two was lots. two lots. Yeah, yeah. It was so one property separate. that they wanted to. Was it just yes, an because there's not enough frontage. Oh, so they put so a road in. They want yeah. to put a road put in. A road okay. in yeah. to it do just it. the terminology threw me off there. Like it was more than two units. Yeah, oh, yeah they're, they're, it's a subdivision because they are going to put a road yep. in of yep. some sort. So it's three, three parcels technically because yep. we call it the, the road is yeah. one of them. Yep. Um, but we'll see. It, it sounds like they want to do more of a common driveway, um, than anything else. So they have a bunch of waivers. I'm taking a look at them all. I'll send them over to you guys so you can read them. Um, and I'm going to get the fire department and the police department to look them over yeah. as well. Just like to hark out. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I think the biggest thing, the only thing that seemed odd on that one was the, the pitch yep. going up the hill and then yep. drive the abutters in the driveway. Yeah. I may not know that there's a driveway going yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so that one's not coming next week. Um, it's just sort of just beginning coming stages. Up. Yeah. Yeah. Coming up. Yeah. Neat. Just so you know. Um, and then town meeting is the 1st of November. Um, 
which I have a, I will be there this time. I, say, mm-hmm. one? I do have a medical out? procedure that day, but I'll be here. <laughs> 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 I couldn't believe it. Like, I can't miss it again. So I will be here. Whoever's scheduling these things with you are probably trying to get out of their time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Any other updates? That's it. If there's nothing else, then we'll um, close out the meeting. Make a motion to close the meeting. I second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right, everyone. Have a wonderful evening. You too.